So Val, after a hectic Christmas period, there was a clear week. So how did you find that? Excellent. Very good to, uh, to have time to work on a lot of stuff, um, to work on some uh, intensity, to work on some uh, principle, um, out of possession, in possession. So actually all the technical stuff. Uh, we need to work some unit uh, training, individual uh, session, uh, video session. So it makes um, easy and comfortable to prepare um, to prepare a game. And there have been some reports this week about Edo Kayembe, um, that, that he's left the DR Congo camp at AFCON. So can you give us an update on that and then any other team news as well? Yes, uh, unfortunately for Edo, I will miss the Africa Cup um, due on a uh, calves injury. I picked the injury um, after the Plymouth, uh, Plymouth game, so actually at, the, at half time. Um, he will be back uh, this afternoon um, and we will assess him and then to see how long he will, um, he will be out. And then can you provide some updates on Jamal Lewis and Ken Semmer as well? Yeah, Jamal make a great step, so he will be back uh, next week, uh, full, uh, another full week for, for him to prepare. So uh, we don't want it to, to rush for, for the game on, on Sunday, so we expected him to, uh, to be back. Ken will take another, another week, so uh, normally Ken will be back for the uh, cup game. Uh, against Southampton, so this is our um, our expectation now on the on the two players. And uh, yesterday saw Quadro Bar's loan from Burton terminated. What are your plans with him? Well, I think at the minute he's uh, he's injured, so uh, he need to to recover from uh, his uh, injury, and after we will go from uh, from there. And then on Sunday, uh, you know, facing QPR. Your, your reign as Watford manager started so well in that in that game in the reverse fixture on the first game of the season, um, but they've opted to change their manager since then. So, are you expecting a different type of challenge on Sunday? Yes. Uh, first of all, it's a away game, uh, always tough, especially at QPR. Um, so, we know that uh, we have to be to be ready, to be focused on ourselves, to make sure that we do the the basic uh, the basic right. Um, and the, the second thing, as you say, that changed the, the manager. So it's another another team, more possession based uh, based team. So it means our press has to be has to be right as well. Um, but uh, we are focused. Um, we are ready for the for the for the challenge. And uh, as I say, when you when you have a good week to to prepare the game, it makes it easier for uh, for us. And then just a final one from me. It's it's seven years since Graham Taylor's unfortunate passing, and obviously Saturday marks your first Graham Taylor match day. So how did you find that? It was a great, uh, great moment. I think that um, throughout the week and then bef before the the game and then after the game, the feeling um, you you get to to speak about him, to to learn the the history he made for the for the club, a big uh, a big legend. And as I say, I was really uh, pleased and, and a big relief that we uh, we got the the win for for him. Yeah, thanks, Carl. Thank you.